Okay, so here's another one for you to practice. So given this quadratic here, find out the uh, find out where where the line crosses the x-axis. Okay, so so first have a quick glance to see if you can see if you can factorize this. So so have a quick glance. Um, you, to create a four, you need a two and a two, um, you, or one and a four. This one here, three x. Um, so so try and try and have a quick glance to see if you can factorize it. Um, if you can't, then then quickly sketch the uh, the, the curve. Um, so here, when x is small, it wants to do this. So uh, the minus four, let's say, is here minus four, and the so so this here is in a, in effect a straight line. Um, minus minus five x. So that's like a, a gradient of uh, uh, of minus five here. And then when x is big, it wants to do the x squared. So we we can guess we can guess it to be something like this. Okay, um, where it curves around here is just pure guess at this stage. Okay, um, but but our, the problem is to find find out these two points. Okay, so um, so press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so um, so to do this here at this point and this point here, the uh, the y value will be zero. So put zero into this uh, into this uh, into the y here. So hang on. So put zero into the y. That would be uh, zero equals three uh, x squared minus five x uh, minus four. Okay. Now, now we, uh, we 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 don't want this coefficient. Well, we want this coefficient to be one. So divide everything by by three. So uh, so zero divided by three will be zero. Um, this divided by three will be x squared. This will be well. We're just going to write it like this. Um, uh, what is it over three x and then and then four over three because because it doesn't divide neatly. Let's let's just leave it as a fraction. Okay. Now come the hard part. Um, you you your eyes should zoom into this. How would you how would you create th these two terms? Remember we we want to get it in the form of x uh, uh, plus Blah 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 squared and then plus blah 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 blah. We want to write in this form because this form is really useful. Um, so, but it is quite hard to get in this form. So let's let's try and do it. Um, so so here, your eyes will zoom into this uh, this section here. How would you create this section here? Well, the way you create it is by doing this. Hang on, I'm going to need half of this. Okay, half of this. So so I'm going to need half of it. Half of that is going to be this. Divided by two, so it gets multiplied to the bottom. Well, I, I know that if I do this here, uh, five over six, okay, squared. Then, then I I know that if I if I multiply this out, I will get this term here. Well, these two terms, sorry. Um, but then I'm going to get some rubbish. The rubbish comes when when you have this. Hang on, minus five over six uh, times by itself. Uh, I'm going to get some rubbish, and the rubbish comes when you get this. Times this, so top times top, uh, bottom times bottom. That would be uh, 25 over 36. Okay. Well, I'm I'm going to get this rubbish term here. So I would immediately take away this uh, this rubbish term. Uh, take away this uh, this rubbish term here. 25 over 36. So in, so so when you come to multiply this out here, and then and then and then take then immediately take away this here. It will it will it will give you this, these two terms here. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that this is exactly the same as this. Okay. Now I'm just going to take, uh, I'm just going to take this fraction down. So it will be, uh, minus, minus four over three. Okay. Um, so now it's just a matter of, um, it's, it's just a matter of adding, well, merging these two fractions together. This one and this one, because single numbers on on their own are like one entity. You can you can merge them together. So um, so well, in order to add or take away of fractions, the two denominators have to be the same. So I'm going to need to times uh, times top and bottom here by uh, by twelve. Okay. Uh, so so this would then become uh, x minus five over six squared uh, minus. 25 over 36 uh, minus um, uh, 4 times 12 is uh, 48 uh, over over 30 uh, 36. 
Okay, so so this fraction here is a, is exactly the same as this fraction here. So now the two denominators are the same. So let's let's merge them together. So this becomes um, this becomes x minus five over six squared, and then uh, and then this will become whether six uh, sixty seventy three. Um, this will become seventy three um, over thirty six. Okay. Um, uh, and then, uh, and then, have a quick glance to see if you can simplify this. Uh, I don't think you can. Uh, so let's let's continue. Um, so this one here, uh, yeah, add add this thing to both sides. Okay, so uh, so add uh, add that thing to both sides. It will give you this: seventy three over uh, thirty six equals x minus five over six uh, squared here, and then square root both sides. Uh, so this will be 7, 3 over blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're going to get two solutions here. Uh, x minus 5 over uh, 6. Okay. And then, uh, and then, and then what? And then you, you, you add this fraction to both sides. So this would be, uh, uh, this would be 5 over 6, uh, plus or minus, uh, uh, 7, 3 over 36. So x equals. So the the two solutions above are, are, are these here. Okay. So um, yeah. So yeah. Okay.